Thanks for stopping by, checking us out. Today I've got an uh, instructional video for you on uh, how I like to set up my uh, chicken processing station. I've got some Cornish Cross that uh, need to be processed this week. Uh, they're 11 weeks old and uh, let me show you how uh, I like to have everything set up. So without further ado, let's take a look. So right here I've got a uh, chicken plucker. This is a yard bird chicken plucker. Uh, it's not cheap, uh, but uh, it's one of those things that I like to consider investment. So, do you need one of these? No, but does it save you a lot of time and hassle? Without a doubt it does, so. If you're going to be doing a large number of chickens, uh, not only just for your family, but for uh, others as well, I'd consider uh, making that investment if you're able to. So, we've got the chicken plucker. Uh, that's the uh, brains of the operation because it's definitely not me. I like to put a, uh, a strainer under here. Uh, this is the discharge port. Um, you'll run a hose in here um, once you turn it on and between the water and the rotation that helps uh, defeather the bird and then it discharges here of course uh, the strainer helps catch the uh, the feathers and then the rest of the water goes inside the bucket so we got that. Um, you're gonna need some coolers. Got some coolers here. This is cold water. Get as cold as you can. Got some gloves here uh, for when I scald the chicken. That's just to protect my hands. Uh, here's my scalding pot. I've got it on right now. Runs off of propane. Um, this is actually an outdoor fryer, uh, but it can also be used to scald the chickens. You're going to want to have a uh, thermometer in there to read your water temp. And uh, the magic temperature for scalding your birds is about 145, I found. Don't worry, you're safe. So like I said, it runs off of propane. Over here, here is the killing cone. This is where you put your bird in. And uh, head first, of course. Head comes out down here. Now, uh, last year, I uh, beheaded the birds on a uh, chopping block, um, but I had some issues with uh, controlling the bird after I made that blow. And uh, I don't want to deal with that. So once you uh, decapitate a chicken, it does flop around quite a bit, and I want to eliminate that portion. So this year I'm going to, uh, as much as I really don't want to, I'm going to try to uh, just slit its throat while it's contained here in the cone. And uh, <clears throat> that way the, the cone kind of hugs the bird, and it's going to keep it... Um, you know, contained and controlled and it's not going to be flopping around. Here's my processing table. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you uh, obviously sterilize it, make sure it's clean. Uh, hot soapy water. If you want to put a little splash of bleach on there when you're cleaning it, that's good too as long as you rinse it off thoroughly. You don't want any chemicals in your meat, obviously. I've got here a uh, set of needles pliers. I can use these uh, to pull out any feathers that I'm not able to get with the plucker. Sometimes it's nice to have those needle nose to pull out those feathers, those real stubborn ones. I've got some uh, garden shears here. Those are going to be for uh, trimming the uh, neck 
neck skin and also uh, cutting the uh, excess neck off. Got two knives. Uh, this will be my knife here that I uh, work with the most to eviscerate the chicken. My buck knife is going to be the knife that I'm going to use to uh, cut the chicken's throat. I've got a uh, tub of water just to uh, rinse off, rinse my hands off with. I've got a pot here that I'm going to put the uh, liver and the heart. I don't eat liver and the heart, but my dog Duke does. I like to cook those up for him after, uh, after we're done with the birds. And of course you're going to need uh, fresh water too. Make sure you got your water. So that should be, well I've got a, some, uh, I've got a bucket here. This is going to be my gut bucket to catch all the entrails. I think that's about it. Let's see, oh. Okay, so I've got some uh, dish detergent. You're going to want to put that in the, uh, the scalding pot because the birds are pretty dirty and nasty and it helps kind of it cleans the bird and it also uh, kind of breaks up the natural oil in their feathers so it's kind of a dual purpose kind of thing I've got a knife sharpener I've got a uh, self-lighting torch you can also use these to uh, to get rid of the feathers in it that don't come out um, or you can use needle nose whichever also you can light your uh, your fire on your scalding pot the scalding pot uh, is also going to be used to seal the uh, bags that I store the chickens in which are located right here these are the bags they're just shrink wrap bags and uh, the temp you'll need on when you're <clears throat> using hot water to shrink the bags is 180. And along with that, you'll need some tie wraps. One tie I like to, uh, I've got a big huge roll of stickers here that I can, uh, after I weigh the bird, which is up here, let me see if I'm pointing at it. There it is. So after I weigh the bird, um, obviously I'll write the weight on here. Date. So that should be just about it. My water is just about up to 120, 130, 140. So it's getting close, almost 145, almost to where I need it to be. I've got, uh, I'm going to do at least four today is my plan. I've got the, uh, like I said before, these are Cornish Cross. Really big birds, tastiest birds out there. Bar none, tastiest birds. So, here's the four I'm going to be doing. Two roosters, uh, two hens. Now I've got them separated off in the run uh, from the rest of the birds because I've cut off feed for them. This is day two, no feed. They have had water. And the reason you do that is just to uh, clean out the crop. It's just uh, less of a hassle when you're cleaning the bird. East. Give you an overview. Don't mind the junk there. Chicken plucker. Got a strainer down underneath to catch the feathers. And you do have to clean out the uh, plucker after each bird. You have to rinse it out um, because they do have a lot of feathers on them. And it's just, you have to do that in order for it to work properly. Coolers, that's where the chickens go. Gloves 
for when you're uh, scalding your bird. Bags, tie wraps, propane if you need it. That's for burning feathers and also lighting your fire. Dish detergent. Dawn, I'm knife sharpener. Stickers, permanent marker, scald pot, thermometer, propane tank, kill cone, got a wagon here to uh, <clears throat> catch as much of the uh, blood from the bird as I can, processing table, kneel nose pliers, garden shears, Small knife, uh, cut knife, rinse water, pot uh, for the gizzard if you want, heart and liver, gut bucket, water, and your uh, scale to weigh the carcass uh, when it's all done. That's further down the road, but there you have it. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. Hopefully this was useful for you. It's kind of hard knowing what you need if you haven't done it the first time. So that's pretty much everything. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Wisconsin Living. Take care.